Investing in disruption is my strategy and investing in the leaders of disruption is also my strategy. So having an eye on NVIDIA or trading NVIDIA in a subtle technical way is a recipe for success for future investors, new investors who want to start learning how to select stocks and how to trade them. So we'll cover quickly NVIDIA four hour daily and weekly charts. I usually cover the four hour just for entry positions or to take profits. And that's what we have here. After a top of $140 in this region here, NVIDIA started correcting. We see this by the flattening of the ME50 at that level. And then when it turned down, we already had initiated that correction. We gave out the ME200 on the four hour chart and that confirmed the downwards momentum for the stock. Keep in mind that at that time, NVIDIA had already exploded in value and it was quite normal that some people decided to take profits. When this happens, if you have a leader in disruption and nothing has attacked its moat, the way it works, their products, how dominant they are, then it becomes a buying opportunity. And when a stock is falling, you don't start buying the stock when it's falling. You wait until it stops falling and then you select your entry point because nobody knows where it's going to stop in that downwards correction. This is the case for Nvidia. It started at around 140 like I said and it stopped at $90, a little bit above $90 which is the consolidation period here that lasted from March 2024 here until April of 2024 and then a little section here in May of 2024. So now that the bounce was confirmed, then we can state now that $90 is a very solid support for Nvidia. We bounce back. Now you see that the MA50 on the four hour is turning. We are getting close to the MA200 at around 120. We should stop there, this progression, and trade sideways until the MA50 com comes back. In my opinion, it's going to be a Golden cross here, a little bit like here. So we're going to see this. Here is going to be the dead cross that we've got here. Then the turn that we're getting in right now. And then we're going to have the golden cross here a little later that will push the price above the MA200. And at that stage, we can continue the progression upwards. Once we do that, we're gonna challenge again the $140 level for Nvidia. Many people are all talking about stock is expensive, it's not going to continue to dominate, all kinds of theories about its future performance. In my opinion, not financial advice, it's a dominant player. One, it's in a dominant industry, AI, chip making, computers, that is not going away next year or the next five years or even the next 10 years. They have very unique products that everybody wants to have. Yesterday, they cannot produce enough of their products to satisfy, satisfy demand at this stage. Therefore, they're gonna continue selling their products at a good margin. And finally, one of the most important things that people don't usually, or well, some investors, not all, don't give a lot of value to this, this company is making money, a lot of money. Therefore, value is coming in to the company and they're creating new value with upgrading their products and continuing to sell their dominant products. So to me, this correction from 140 to $90 was a profit section on Nvidia's progression. Nothing to panic about. It was a really nice buying opportunity for those who were able to stay calm and assess the situation. When you have leaders identified in this disruption era, usually it takes a long time for them to fall if ever they fall. So investing on other companies that are trying to catch them up, it's extremely risky compared to putting your money in the leaders. That's how I do it. Keep it simple. You don't need to be day trading to make money with Nvidia. You, will, you can only, you can see it by looking at the charts and the returns can be phenomenal. So just keep that in mind. Well, on the daily chart, you see that since September of 2023, the stock has only gone up from base here of $10 to 140. Is it normal to get profits from 140 to 90? Yes, 
Is it natural? Yes. Was it a buying opportunity? Absolutely. Is it going higher? My opinion, not financial advice. Yes. It will continue to dominate. And for those who want positions, it's still a little of a bargain. Obviously, near $90 was, or below $100 was the best region to get into the asset. Now, like I said, I'm expecting trading sideways around $120 and then trying to charge 140. That's what I expect from Nvidia in the upcoming weeks. You see here that the MA50 and MA200 are up to the right. Now the trend is less exponential after the correction. Before the correction was quite steep. Now it's a little less steep. Maybe it's going to be more sustainable. So we can keep that trend upwards towards $200, $300, $500. I don't know how high it will go. We will see, nobody knows. So you just have to be in the market with this asset and be patient. Investors sometimes want to trade, want to buy and sell, want to try to identify a little zones here to take profits and so forth. And sometimes they get caught outside of the market without shares of these dominant companies and they lose a lot of profits. It takes only a few days within an asset to really solidify your profits. You need to be in the market, be patient. Like I said, if nothing major happened to Nvidia, unless you bought the stock around 140, those are the only people right now. Well, between 120 and 140, those are the only people right now who are not making money. Everybody else from $12 upwards is in profits right now. And we had seen here in this region in March where we got another correction. The same thing from uh, $97 and we corrected down to 75. So that's a 25% correction. For a short period of time, these people around 95 to 100 were in the red, but the price came back and then boom, exploded above 100 and everybody was in profit again. So that, that is what happens with dominant players. Keep at it, keep searching, keep learning about these dominant players. And I use TA just to get in better entry regions. And usually I invest for one to five years. So I'm not trading tops all the time. I sell really at really major levels when I see that the uptrend is pretty much over or that we have substantial profits that we can take a little bit out just to be safe on the investment. But do I see Nvidia continue to dominate? Yes. Next year for the five, next five years? Yes. So why would I sell? Is there a dominant player better than Nvidia in its field right now? No. So in this case, why would I sell my shares? That's another question that you have to ask yourself. Sometimes the simple questions keep you cool and guide you in your investment journey. It's already very complicated to select best assets, but once you have them, once people show them to you and you do your own research, then it gets easier and easier and easier. How many NVIDIA do you need in your portfolio? If you have three to four stocks max, I would say maybe even three would be the ideal situation. Three stocks that perform in a similar way. Do you need 40 stocks in your portfolio? No, three is enough. Because yes, they will correct in bearish situations, but they're going to be the first one to bounce back. They're not gonna go brand corrupt because they're making a lot of money. They're reinvesting in future products and therefore they will outperform the other stocks in their field and continue dominating. They can even buy their best competitors and therefore stop any type of competition and continue their domination. Or they can come up with another product that will differentiate them from the other similar stocks and increase their domination in the future. So that's why investing in innovation is one of the best options to protect your downside and maximize your profits. And on the weekly chart for Nvidia, well, we see this exponential chart, MA50 always above the MA200 since, I don't know, maybe June of 2016, a very impressive stock to have in your portfolio. And I believe Nvidia will dominate 
for a while. Do not worry too much about that and keep selecting buy zones to this dominant asset in the stock market. I hope you enjoy my analysis. Sometimes it needs to be simple and everybody can see how easy it is to use TA for select zones of buying, of accumulating a dominant asset that will give you returns for the next year, five years, 10 years maybe. But if something major happens to Nvidia that affects its dominance, you get out of the stock, you sell your stock, and then you select the next specs thing or the, the newcomer who has a different product that is dominating and you take that horse instead and push forward. Do not get married to a stock. You need to always analyze its dominance. And if it hasn't changed and you cannot select a better stock to put your money in, in that field, there's no reason to sell the stock. So I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Like I said, continue watching videos. I'm having a blast doing them. So keep the comments coming, share your thoughts. Tell me if you agree or disagree with my analysis and let's keep making money. Ciao.